hi all welcome back so today in this course we are going to see about how to uh, import excel data as you are aware we have seen one time how to import excel data into appian directly okay and delete the document as well so that time we have seen with the help of this smart service import excel to database okay but this time we are going to see through read excel sheet paging that is also a plugin uh, only but it this time the plugin is in the form of a function let's say in case you are not able to find this function in your environment so what you have to do here is you have to go to the admin console and you have to uh, add this plugin into your admin console so let me show you how to do that so go to the admin console okay and now we will go to the plugins okay once you have reached the plugins page then then click on add new plugin okay and and here we have to search that particular plugin here so let's search by excel and after that go to the excel tools here if you go to the excel tools here you can say see here import csv to database import excel to database so all this one it can import it click on deploy once you have clicked on the deploy it will take few minutes and it will be deployed once it is deployed we can check uh, back in few minutes and this data we will be able to see there as well okay so it is now saying successfully deployed the plugin okay so let me just refresh this expression once and now once again we will try to write here read excel sheet by paging so this is the basically the function which will help us to read the excel data directly from this uh, our excel sheet so now what is the next step next step is like to we have to import a excel file here so see here this is the excel file that i am trying to import in appian so it has a lot of data here and the major columns are what age gender marital status occupation monthly so these are the particular columns which will get imported so first of all like in order to import that file we have to go here and we have to import as a document in our interface we can also get that as a document directly okay but here i'm just uploading it directly okay so now it is uploaded click on next and it will create a constant so let it let it create a constant here now how to use this function so in order to use this function first of all I we have to pass the excel document here so let me just pass here excel document so write the keyword here and in order to pass the excel document paste this one here so this excel document we have just now passed after that it asks for the sheet number okay so in in the sheet number what we have to give here is check that here the sheet number to read where zero is the first sheet so let's go into our sheet and see here this is the first sheet only so we have to write here zero for the first sheet so this is the sheet number zero after that there is a paging info so in the paging info make sure like how much data you want from this paging info here so let's say like i want just uh, let's say like 50 data okay because there are a lot of data present there okay and see number of columns uh, password whatever is written in you know like italic they are optional if you want to give them uh, you can give them otherwise the most important parts are this three parameters only so we have provided now click on test rule once once we have tested the data then you will be able to see the complete seed data here see total count you have got it here and the 50 data you have got something like this so now the next thing what you know like importance here is that we have to format the data so that we are able to save that data in our database first of all let's store this data into a local and then we will start formatting the data in order to save into our database so local bank excel data i will make a variable like this one here okay and let me just call that variable here now what are the data that i am going to store for this particular sheet so what i have done already here is 
I have also created a table in order to store the same data. Whatever data was there in my column, for example, age, gender, marital status, occupation, monthly income, education, family size, all of this data I have created columns in my database table as well. So here everything I have done and I want the data of all this format from this Excel here. So now what we have to do here. See, in order to understand this, how this function returns the data, you have to check that. See, first of all, it is returning all data. We don't need that much of data, right? We, it is a data subset. So in order to get the data, I can write here dot data. Once I have written dot data, you will see only this Excel data are now coming here. We can reduce the passage as well in order to work it more efficiently. Later on, we can increase whatever number we want. See here, let's say 20 data are there. Now out of this 20 data, see first row that you will get from this Excel sheet is nothing but your column. Okay. And this column is already present in the database. Okay, these are my columns. So I don't need this data. I know like these are my columns only. So I will, ig I would have to ignore the column here. Okay, and from the second row itself, if you will see from the second row, what is there? The all the values are there. For example, 20 female single student. If you will see that this is nothing but the first row of data, 20 female single student. Okay, uh, so all these data are from the second row. So what we can do here is the complete data, we can remove the column as well. So in order to remove the column, we can use this remove function. We can, which row, we which index we have to remove? The very first index is that is present here that we have to remove. So now I have removed the first index and see here. Now that a column is not coming. Because why? Because we didn't need that column. After that, now these all values are present in my Excel there. Okay, and now I have to import that data. So in order to import what I have to do here is, see here, uh, now I will uh, have to format data. I know that let, let me format one data at a time and then we will see like how to do the same for the multiple as well. So what I will do here is local bank, I will write here row one. So this is nothing but the row one of data. So let me just take here row one of data, Excel data of index one I have taken. So let me just uh, call that Excel row one data here and see what are the data in the row one. Only 14 items are there. So see, now in this 14 items, if you will see that what I will do, how to format the data. Basically, whenever you need to format data, we need to write the name of our record here ys data this is the data and give a bracket here okay and huh, let me name the variable as well local bank formatted uh, data so once i have given the variable name and now see here first is what is where is the age here so see age is nothing always it is coming at first row only right so in order to get the first row what you will write here so local bank row one of nothing but index one okay and let me just give comma here and now let's see the format data how does it looks like see here age is huh, now there is another doubt here see so directly it will not take first of all what we have to do here is index of one dot values we have to take okay and now once the values are there see here the values will come that index we have not done that so this is the data as of now we are getting see there is one more index which is remaining here that is nothing but the values part okay so once again we have to write here values now it will get indexed once again with values now only the data we are getting here okay and what is the age that we are getting number integer 20 next is our in our uh, record there is gender so let me just write here local bank row one of two so two is what nothing but the gender here similarly let me just complete everything at first here now you can see that i have written here all the values which are present in my record here i have basically casted the data this is nothing but casting data into my record type and now i will click on test rule once again and see all the data that whatever is present directly it is coming in my record type okay so this is how you will format the data as well now in order to you know like remove the index we can also use this uh, index functions which is very important instead of directly using it here okay let me just repeat that for the same here now 
in all the values I have used the index so like like that we can use that and now finally we can return this particular data as well this is my nothing but the formatted data which I want to return so all this data is coming in which data type here ys excel data if I want to store that in my database easily I can store that data as well but this one I have just made for one only now what I have to do if I have to do for all the 14 or 19 data are there so all for the 19 I have to do that what I should do so this should basically iterate correct so this has to get iterated over that particular uh, all the values so that it will incorporate all the values so what I will do here is where it should iterate now I will write here loop okay the items over which I want to iterate is X uh, local bank Excel data I will iterate over and I will write here expression and in that expression I will just paste the complete set of data so whenever you are confused like how to use loops and all you can use also the same thing do that for one values okay and then iterate it for multiple now how it will get iterated for multiple now it will for each index for automatically it will take all the values here now let me just format it and and now see here all this data postgraduate and I guess every values is having the same data only but we needed the different data okay how can we get the different data see for each Excel data we are iterating then we don't have to you know like do the index of row 1 because that one we haven't changed here right so index instead of row 1 it has to be FV bank okay so fv bank item has to be one okay and here also all the row one needs to get changed to the fv bank item so what i will write here i will write here fv bank item here and let me just ref replace for all okay and now once i have replaced it now see all the data will get changed here okay okay one more point was there everything became null here why because in every bank item there is something called values as well so when I we are iterating let me just index the values as well once I have indexed the values part then all the data is populating see here all the data is now unique here all these values 50942 same data like this one everything is iterating over and this data we can easily save into our database as well let's say somebody want to import file that excel data will come in the database you will get the data and you will import into the table and you can upload a formatted data as well so how to save the data into the database let's see that once now let's go in the this is the process model which I have created simple just one script task is there and one write records later on other nodes we can also configure for example like a uh, user is uploading through the interface so that also we can add it but let's say like once it is added then what you have to do here is in the format excel a script task you have to go to the data type you have to go to the output and new custom output and whatever the rule that we have created that we have to add it okay so rule bank and this excel data as of now it doesn't accept any parameters or rule inputs why because we have directly hard coded our excel data here because as of now we just have one excel sheet but later on we can create a rule input of document type and here we can directly add that rule input and save in the excel data huh. but make sure that whatever the variable that you have created for the excel data it should be multiple so that multiple data it can store okay so it will store the data and in the write records we have to go and in the setup type we have to write this excel data that's all we want okay validate it publish it okay once you have done click on debug once we have debugged the data whatever the data that we have directly it is written in the database now let me just go here in my database and show you the data which has been written with this with the help of this plugin function so ys excel data if i go see here complete data how much data i wanted 19 data only i needed so as of now only 19 got here okay if we increase the batch size it, we could have written much more data as well but this is the basic concept first of all like get the data from the excel okay either through the constant or through the rule input format the data remove the row one because that is for the column one okay and other data you just format it what in whatever the record type or anything is there uh, apart from the record type in that you cast the data and finally you will be able to get the data into your database as well so i hope it was clear for you okay let me know in case of any other doubts so that was all for now thank you